So today, what I have is a build for the Corrupted Dungeons that I just kind of wanted to show off real quick. I've got some fights. I have some text uh, for explanation, kind of how the fights go down. Of course, uh, at the end of this video also, I have a fight where I died in. It's kind of like a cautionary tale, so stick around for that so you know what can really counter this build. But let's just do a quick rundown of what we got here. We're starting with the Guardian Helm. I only do 4-1 because I have it maxed at 100, not 120, I have it maxed at 100, gives you more than enough item power, so you can go in cheap, still get all the item power you need, because this is for the stalker level, and at stalker level you do get capped. So, you go with the emergency shield, a uh, very strong ability, especially if you're going up against any cursed weapons, a lot of weapons with dots, because it does cleanse them, cleanses all damage over time effects. Now, the nice thing about this shield is you can use it to bait because you get kind of close with these fights, especially in Stalker. Notice the difference in the shield. Look at that. Below 40% massive shield. Above, I mean, it's still a good shield, but if you, you can bait fights out sometimes and really get the winning blow with that huge shield, go for the toughness just because you're melee and so you don't really need authority, but toughness is the way to go. Bag, honestly, you can do T3. I just want T4 because I like the blue, uh, everything being blue. Cape, you don't have to go an expensive cape, you can go just a flat cape, I mean, look at that. Thetford cape is like 60k, 50, 60k, 2.3, you don't really need it. Um, so the main meat, the, of course, the main course of this build is the broadsword. So, when you are clearing mobs, I don't know why I have that hit, uh, you want to use that, but we're talking about the PvP. So, when you're fighting, you do want to go Heroic Strike, just because the cooldown is very short. It's the same as the other, but the damage is more. That's the key, the key point. The damage is more. And for your W, you want to go Iron Will because you will be using this uh, to keep yourself from getting... I mean, you don't really have any things you don't need purged, I guess, so that doesn't matter a whole lot. But it does keep you up with your stacks, your heroic um, charges or what, whatever. The, yeah, heroic charges. Um, so it does help you with that. It helps you with chasing as well um, because you're very mobile. So this is the way to go. If you go for a T6 sword, there are better abilities, but for... 4 and 5, you know, this is what you got. So 4.2, um, you don't have to do 4.2 if you have enough spec. I don't, so I have to use that. And this is the key, Mighty Blow. So this ability is so good because look at that cooldown. I mean, it's a small cooldown for a lot of damage. It has a ton of mobility. Like, you could launch with this thing. And, of course, if you get three of your heroic charges, you do some pretty beefy damage. I go for the deep cuts just because I want the max DPS possible. So for the chest piece... I go for the Purging Shield, um, creates a Purging Shield on yourself. You get damage resistances, so that is nice. But here's the key. Whenever you take direct damage, all buffs on the attacker, except for healing over time, will be purged. Good for Mercenary Jackets, things like that. You'll find a lot of people like to run that in these Corrupted Dungeons. So from the Mage Robe, it's, I like it a lot. Um, aggression, again, extra damage, because you are kind of squishy, because it is a cloth chest piece. Well, uh, squishy against um, physical attacks, at least. So, now we are going to the boots. The reason why you're picking Guardian boots is you want Giant, because you want to be a big boy. Because you don't have any healing in this kit. No healing whatsoever. So instead, you're going to make yourself very large, increase that health pool. Again, go for toughness, more defense. The the idea behind... Oh, and Torch. Torch, just for some cooldown, attack speed, you know. It's cheap. That's why you go that. You can go Taproot if you want, but that's like 100k, so... Anyway, the key behind this build is that you are very strong at just standing still and beating people over the head, like in a melee matchup. You are so strong, especially because you get your heroic charges, and heroic charges give you movement speed and attack speed. So you can almost chase down any melee player that doesn't have any like hard disengage, like a invis or anything like that. You can catch up with them, especially with the E. Like, look at that range. You get some good range with your E. So the key is you can basically stand there and just beat anyone up that's a melee opponent. Generally, you will win. Also, I, I started with Poison Pots, but then I sw swapped to Gigantify because that just ensures the melee matchup. Um, you've got two giants, basically, that you pop, and you they just can't beat you. You're you're kicking the, kicking the stars in their face, and it's over. So for stew or for uh, food, I do go stew just because I want the max amount of damage possible. Now, again, there is a way to be countered by this super hard. I died a lot to it trying to figure this build out and discover it. I'll show you at the end of the video, of course, what that is. And uh, as far as the price, 95k. Under 100k, not that bad. You don't have to go to, I just like to go to food, to pot, horse, donkey. I mean, whatever you want. It's a traveling mount. It's all up to you. So let's get into some of the fights.
Yes, I had that Vert Cave for this fight. You don't really need it. No one's stopping you from buying it, but trust me, you don't have to have it to win these fights.
that's all I have for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and the different fights that I took with this build. Remember, at the end of the day, it's all about having fun. And that's what we're about at Cat Dad Things, is just having fun. So don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a mention in the comments if you like this video or if you want to see something else. Anyway, that's all. I'm out. See you later. Bye-bye. Thank you.